Hi, writers. Thank you for joining me today. We have been doing some really great work in Writers Workshop, but it's also really hard work. And I'm not so sure about you, but writing is not always something that comes super easily to me. Sometimes when I go to write a true story, I get a bit stuck and I think, nothing ever happens to me. I don't have anything to write about. I'm wondering if this ever happens to you. And if so, guess what? You are not alone. This actually happens to every writer. So today, I want to teach you something that can help. When writers get stuck, it's helpful to have a bunch of strategies to go to for finding ideas. This way, if one doesn't work, they can rely on others. So today, we're going to work on building up our toolkit of strategies. Last time, we learned that writers often think of a special person to gather story ideas. Today, I want to teach you that sometimes, rather than thinking about a special person, writers think about a special place to gather story ideas. Then, rather than listing the moments that happened at that place, we can actually map the moments. And then, of course, choose one and write one. So writers, I'm going to give this a try now. And I'm thinking that I'm going to try this with my childhood backyard. So let's see how that will go. Hmm. So my childhood backyard. So here was my house. And the backyard kind of like started, there was a path and it kind of went around there. And there was this giant tree and a hill that I like just used to like to sled down. And oh my goodness, one time I remember I went sledding and I crashed into the tree. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. So that could be one moment I, I write about. Um, over here was kind of like this flower bed and my mom and I used to love to plant flowers. And so I'm thinking I could maybe choose one of the times that we planted flowers. Ooh, I know, like the time that um, we, had, we had planted the flowers a while ago and my flower, one flower was starting to grow and my dad, was mowing the lawn and he accidentally mowed over the flower and I was devastated. So that could be another, another time dad mowed over flowers. Hmm. Oh, and here was my childhood swing set, I remember. And oh, I know I could write a story about the day I learned to swing by myself. I didn't need anyone to push me anymore. Okay, so writers, now that I've thought of a special place and I've mapped it, and as I mapped it, kind of thought about some different moments that um, happened at that place, now I'm going to think about um, choosing one to write long and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one right here when I when I went sledding and I I crashed so so let's see hmm. so let me go back again to that that day in my mind and I remember I was super super excited to start writing or start sledding and I yelled to my sister I yelled look out below As I kind of jumped, I jumped belly down onto the sled. In an instant, I was careening down that hill, I remember. My face was just min inches above the snow. My hands gripping the toboggan sideboards. So writers, 
you see how I just gave that a try? Today, rather than thinking about a special person that mattered to me, I thought about a special place. And then what I did was I, I mapped that place. And in mapping it, I kind of remember all of these different moments that happened that I might want to write about. And then I chose one. And I wrote the story or I started to write the story, but I don't want to take up any more of your time because now you're going to give it a try. So writers, when you go off today, you're going to continue capturing small moment entries. And one way you might do that is by thinking of a place that matters to you. You can also think of a person that matters to you. Like we learned before, you could also use other strategies that you might be aware of. But right now, before we go, First, let's think about what is the work I'm going to do today. And second, let's think, what are the tools I need to do that work? And when you're ready, off you go.